All right, let's talk about contact dribbling is what that is. We've got these pillars we're working with here that are padded. And uh, what our player is doing, who is me in this video, is coming around the players with contact, using that outside of the off arm without extending it fully, excuse me, and then putting my butt into the back of the pillar to seal that defender so I can move on to the next one or whatever. Um, this is a good thing to practice because the ability to use your body to shield the ball and uh, be physical with your defender is really important. Now, you don't necessarily want to get called for an offensive foul for extending your off arm and pushing off either. So that's something to balance in here. But if you can find some pillars like this or just have someone to practice with you, this is extremely functional for ball handling. Um, it's essential. Uh, otherwise, you're just dribbling against no defense. Now, this isn't necessarily defense either, but it's the ability to practice those advanced moves rep after rep going into a defender. Here is kind of a blow by is the idea going into that. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, shoulder lowering. And if you be careful on that, if you do it into a stationary defender, that'll be a foul on you. So is it something that you want to go for when the defender is moving somewhat or like, um, I don't know. But if you don't extend your arm, you're probably okay. Point is, if you have anything like this, or you can get a dude with a kickboard to push you or whatever, um, get to it. This is the way to learn, get a partner, or find a gym where they have something like this because this is just the ideal way to, uh, to drill contact dribbling unless you have three dudes with pads, which you probably don't. That's what we aspire to get to, though.